Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, Group Performance Awards presented to Iron and Steel Zone of Sale Rorkala Steel Plant. Swimming facility inaugurated for employees and family members of Rorkala Steel Plant at Steel Club. Karma Kala Parishad of Nuagao village Latikata block emerged champions of Synergy Lok Sanskritic Mahotsav organized by Raukela Steel Plant. Radio remote control systems for cranes commissioned in power and blowing station and back pressure turbine hall of CPP-3. Captive power plant 1 of sale or clustering plant records single day zero coal consumption for the first time since inception. Joint mock drill on gas shift organized by NDRF and SAIL Rautla Steel Plant. In-house reconditioning of coiler mandrel SAIL RSP brings about substantial savings for the company. Nurses Training Institute of IGH registers cent percent result in Odisha Nurses and Midwifery Examination Board 2022. Group Performance Awards presented to Services Zone of Sale Rotla Steel Plant. Firefighting and Rescue Demonstration held at Hotstrip Mill 2. Group Performance Awards presented to Mill Zone of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant. Sale Rorkela Steel Plant empowers 20 women from resettlement colonies through sewing training. Doctors of Ispa General Hospital of Sale, RSP, successfully conduct critical orthopedic surgery on accident victim. Now, the news in detail. In the annual performance review and award function held at Gopabandhu Auditorium of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant RSP, Mr. S. R. Suryavansi ED Works and Mr. P. K. Satpati ED PNA presented group performance awards for execution of special jobs by various departments of Rorkela Steel Plant. Departments that received the group performance award from Iron and Steel Zone are Raw Materials Handling Plant along with FMM as Associated Department for Utilization of Unreclaimed Limestone and Dolomite for use as BF grade limestone, co-covens along with RCM and design departments as associated departments for reduction in coke moisture by 0.9% by modification of quenching process, center plant 1 along with traffic and raw material, civil engineering services, structural and fabrication shop and design department as associated departments for revamping of underground track hoppers of SP1 for utilization of limestone of CP2. Center plan 2 along with mechanical shop as associated department for installation and commissioning of pallet def deflection detection system in center machine 
to prevent pallet derailment. Blast furnaces along with instrumentation and PBS department for installation of bypass valve for bypass line TRT. Steel melting shop 1 along with MSS as associated department for modification of electrodes 3 regulation. Hydraulic circuit of VAR. Steel melting shop 2 along with crane maintenance and heavy machinery electrical departments for complete revamping of electrics of crane 5. Coal chemical division along with environment management division. SED and fire services as associated departments for replacement of booster number 4 and 5 header. The swimming facility for employees and their family members was inaugurated at Steel Club of Rorkala Steel Plant by Mr. Atanu Bhaumik, Director in Charge on 13th April 2022. Mr. A.K. Kundu E.D. Mines, Mr. P.K. Satpati E.D. P.N.A., Mr. C.R. Mohapatra C.G.M. in Charge M.M. and Marketing, Mr. Naresh Kumar Acting E.D. Works, Mr. P.K. Sahu C.G.M. Projects Commercial and Working President of the Club, Dr. B.K. Hota CMO in Charge, Mr. A.K. Behuria, CGM in Charge, F&A and many other senior officers, representatives from Executive Association and different trade unions of RSP were present on the occasion. Large number of employees and their family members who have taken the swimming membership were also present on the occasion. The DIC and other senior officers of RSP discussed regarding adding more facilities to the club in the days to come. Mr. P.K. Behra, General Secretary of Rorkala Shramik Sang, the recognized union of RSP, praised Mr. Atanu Bhaumik for initiating the facility which will fulfill a long pending demand of the non-executive employees as there was no swimming facility for them earlier. The DIC also presented swimming cards to some of the members. The program was coordinated by Mr. G. R. Das, Honorary Secretary of Steel Club and other members of the Board of Directors. As a part of its CSR initiatives, Sail Raukila Steel Plant RSP recently organized Synergy, the Lok Sanskritic Mahotsav to promote local tribal cultural around the peripheral areas. In all 120 teams, that is 30 dance troops each from different villages of Latikata block, Nuangao block, Bisra block and Kuarmunda block enthusiastically participated in the zonal level competitions held at each block. The final round of the program was conducted on 20th April 2022 at Civic Center in which the first, second and third prize winners from each block participated to win the ultimate title. Mr. Atanu Bhaumik, Director in Charge RSP, graced the concluding function as the Chief Guest, while Mr. A. K. Kundu, ED Mines, Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi, ED Works, Mr. C. R. Mahapatra, CGM in Charge, MM and Marketing, and Mr. A. K. Nayak, CGM, TA and CSR were the guests of honour of the function. Also present on the occasion were Ms. Munmun Mitra, GM CSR, Mr. Dushmant Pradhan, DGM CSR, other senior officials, officials of CSR and members of various self-help groups that had helped in conducting the program. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Bhomik highlighted the richness of tribal culture and tradition in the peripheral areas of Raukila and commended the efforts of CSR department of RSP for promoting the cultural heritage of the region. Mr. A.K. Kundu in his address appreciated the huge participation of artists that is more than 2400 persons in the event and said that this shows the popularity of the event. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi applauded the vibrant culture of tribals of Sundargad district of Odisha. Mr. C. R. Mahapatra addressed the gathering and applauded the local dancers for preserving their culture and tradition. Mr. Bhomik presented the first, second and third prizes to the winners of the dance competitions. Karma Kala Parishad of Nuagao village of Latikata block village emerged as champion of the Synergy Dance Festival and won cash award of Rs 10,000 and the champion trophy. Bolani Jirgatola from Latikata block bagged the second prize that consisted of a cash award of Rs 9,000 and a trophy. 
The third prize that carried a cash prize of rupees 8000 and a trophy was bagged by Jagannath group of Kardega village of Nuagao block village. The judges were also felicitated on the occasion. Consolation prizes of rupees 3000 were also given to each of the remaining participating troops. The event was organized by the CSR department of RSP with the support of Ma Saraswati Self Help Group SHG, Bolani Village, Puja Self Help Group of Kardega Village, Lakshmi Self Help Group of Saru Bahal Village, and Mamata Self Help Group of Sarandamal Village. It is worth mentioning here that as a part of its CSR initiatives, RSP has been organizing the Synergy Lok Sanskritik Mahotsav every year since 2012-13. The zonal level competitions are organized in four blocks and the final round of the competition being organized at Raukila. Earlier in the morning, Mr. A.K. Nayak had inaugurated the event. He also welcomed the gathering in the concluding function. Ms. Munmun Mitra proposed the formal vote of thanks. Mr. B. Ekka, Senior Field Assistant CSR, coordinated the program. Radio Remote Control RRC systems for cranes in turbine hall of power and blowing station and in back pressure turbine BPT hall of captive power plant CPP number 3 have been installed at the CPP 1 of Sail Raukila steel plant. It is noteworthy that the 60 ton or 10 ton crane in PBS and 20 ton or 5 ton crane in BPT hall are regularly used for maintenance of the turbines, generators and their related auxiliaries. These cranes were being operated only from the operators cabins of these cranes. There was constant need for additional manpower for operating these cranes from operator cabins besides delay in executing precision jobs. With the installation of the radio remote control system in both these cranes, the dependence on operator for cranes has been eliminated. This has also facilitated smooth and safe execution of maintenance jobs with reduction in effective time for maintenance. Now these cranes are being used by the maintenance crew regularly with lesser manpower. The engineering, interlocking and interfacing with the existing operator cabin controls of these cranes was done by the team led by Mr. R. K. Ranjan, AGM Electrical CPP1. Captive Power Plant No. 1, CPP1 of Sale, Routler Steel Plant made a record of generating critical category 1 electrical power generated medium pressure process steam and supplied required cold blast air supply to blast furnaces for more than 14,000 tons of hot metal production through the efficient and effective usage of internally generated blast furnace gas and mixed gas only on 17th April 2022. It is the first time that consumption of boiler coal, furnace oil or light diesel oil was nil in CPP number 1, a record since the inception of the plant. It's noteworthy that the steel plant had given a renewed thrust on further improving the techno-economic parameters to match the national benchmarks. Notably, a number of modifications in burners of boilers, replacement of mixed gas pipelines, installation of additional safety features, etc. based on action plans to reduce consumption of boiler coal over the last few years have helped in reduction of consumption of boiler coal from 3,22,055 tons in 2019-20 to 1,13,213 tons in 2021-22. The latest modifications redesigning of mixed gas burners and recent replacement of 250 mm diameter mixed gas lines of MP boiler number 1 and 2 have facilitated zero dependence on boiler coal for process steam generation. Meticulous planning combined with innovative approach and actions to facilitate zero consumption of boiler coal in CPP number no. 1 and the results obtained demonstrates RSP strategy and commitment to carbon footprint reduction. The above feat of CPP number no. 1 was facilitated by the support and efforts of EMD, Blast Furnaces Department, co covens Department, Instrumentation Department, etc. With an aim to enhance 
preparedness to meet any eventuality arising out of a gas leakage. A joint mock drill was organized by National Disaster Response Force, Mundali Unit and SAIL, Raurkla Steel Plant on 19th April 2022 at LD Gas Holder premises of Steel Melting Shop 2 Unit. As a part of statutory requirement, this was done to assess the efficacy of the on-site disaster management system of RSP and the personnel associated with it. The exercise was conducted in the presence of Mr. Bibhu Prashad, Deputy Director, Factories and Boilers, Government of Orissa, Mr. M. K. Mishra, Assistant Director, Factories and Boilers, Government of Orissa, Mr. Narish Kumar, CGM Services, Mr. Shiv Shankar, CGM SMS2, Mr. P. S. Kanan, CGM EMD, Mr. Ashok Kumar, J Jalvanya, Commandant, CISF, and many other senior officers of RSP and NDRF. Speaking at the joint exercise, Mr. Bibhu Prashad stressed on expanding the ambit of the exercise to other areas including the township to benefit from the vast expertise of the experienced NDRF team. He assured help from the state government to conduct such exercises to boost preparedness to meet any exigencies. Mr. Mishra spoke on the importance of the mock drills to assess the preparedness and address the shortcomings in time. Mr. Kumar in his address thanked the NDRF team for conducting the joint mock drill which has been immensely helpful in strengthening the application of SOPs in emergency conditions. All the three teams namely the combat team, rescue team and auxiliary team comprising members from NDRF SMS2, fire services and CISF took part in the mock drill conducted on the topic gas safety and rescue operation in gas holder area. It is also noteworthy that such mock safety drills are being organized in strategic units of RSP from time to time to maintain a high level of preparedness for tackling any eventuality. The program was coordinated Mr. Akhila Mohan Maharana, Manager BOF Operation and DSO SMS2. The expertise and commitment of the Shops Collective of Sale Raukula Steel Plant RSP has helped in bringing about substantial savings for the company and improving its equipment availability by successfully reconditioning the coiler mandrel of hot strip mill 1 in the shortest possible time. Due to prolonged use of coiler mandrel of HSM 1, all the sliding seats were badly worn out and were unsuitable for further use. The hot strip mill department had the option to make it scrap and go for new procurement of coiler mandrel. It was discussed with the shop and challenge for reconditioning was explored and accepted. All the 24 sliding seats along the 24 guide edge seats along with 24 key slots were undercut and built using in-house resources. There was a requirement of high level technical discipline during the assembly of bronzite on the required surfaces of the coiler mandrel. It was done with all precautions at structural and fabrication shop in the quickest possible time. The intricate machining with high level of accuracy was done in CNC Plano Miller machine of the mechanical shop. All the precautions were taken for establishing reference of all the four quadrant of mandrel. This equipment will help HSM1 in uninterrupted production with quality spare. It is noteworthy that the approximate cost of a new coiler mandrel is about rupees 1 crore, whereas reconditioning by external agency would have incurred an estimated cost of approximately rupees 40 lakh. Considering that the department has spent about rupees 10 lakhs in the reconditioning job, RSP has been able to save a substantial amount of cash outflow with this enterprising job of the shops complex. The students of Nurses Training Institute of Ispat General Hospital of Raukila Steel Plant RSP have excelled in the General Nursing and Midwifery Course Examination 2022 conducted by Odisha Nurses and Midwifery Examination Board Bhubaneswar. It is worth mentioning here that the course is of three years duration and the students who appeared for the final this year had worked extensively during the two waves of COVID-19 pandemic. The excellent result of this batch of frontline COVID warriors is truly heartwarming. Ms. Poonam Guria and Ms. Suchitra Sahu have topped the institute by securing 86.11% marks. 
Ms. Pujarani Sahu and Mr. Pramita Swain have secured the third and fourth positions respectively with 85.61% and 85.11% respectively. Out of the total 54 students, 16 students have passed the examination with distinction, securing 80% and above. 31 students have got first division obtaining more than 70% marks and 7 students have secured seven, second division with more than 60% marks. It is worth mentioning here that the Nurses Training Institute was set up by RSP at the ISPA General Hospital in 1963. Since then it has produced around 1400 trained nurses who are today working in hospitals spread throughout the world successfully thereby bringing glory to their alma mater. In the annual performance review and award function held at Gopabandhu Auditorium of Sale Rokla Steel Plant, Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi, Executive Director Works and Mr. P. K. Satpati, Executive Director P and A presented Group Performance Award for execution of special jobs by various departments of Rokla Steel Plant. The departments to receive the award from Services Zone are Repair Shop Mechanical along with BF5 and PCS as associated departments for successful repair of waste gas isolation valves of BF5, Mechanical Shop along with SP2 Mechanical, Design and Repair Shop Mechanical as associated departments for repairing of SP2 Sinter Machine Sprocket Shaft. Repair Shop Electrical along with Heavy Machinery Mechanical and E&A as Associated Departments for Installation and Commissioning of uh, AC Drive. Structural and Fabrication Shop along with SMS2 as Associated Department for First Time Manufacturing of Tundish for CCM3. Field Machinery Mechanical along with Structural and Fabrication Shop as Associated Department for In-House Revival of Crawler Mounted Crane. Roll Shop along with Structural and Fabrication Shop, Mechanical Shop and Plate Mill as Associated Departments for Reconditioning and Salvaging of Plate Mill Top Backup Chocks. Environment Management Division along with Oxygen Plant and Sinter Plant 2 as Associated Departments for providing alternate source of compressed air supply to Sinter Plant 2. Instrumentation along with SMS2, C and IT, CES as Associated Departments for Restoration of Complete Automation System of Converter 1 and 2. Electronics and Automation Department along with CRM as Associated Agency for Upgradation of Screw Down PLC of Tandem Mill, C and IT Department along with Orissa Group of Mines as Associated Agency for Integration of RMD Sales, Invoicing, Server and Payroll of Mines with RSP. A firefighting and rescue demonstration was held at Hotstrip Mill 2 of Sale Rokla Steel Plant on 16th April to mark the observance of Fire Services Week. Mr. Devabrata Datta, CGM in charge HSM, Mr. R.K. Muduli, CGM HSM 2, Mr. S.C. Mohanti, GM in charge Fire and Safety and Mr. J.B. Patnayak, GM Fire Services along with many other senior officers and a large number of employees from the department were present on the occasion. During the awareness program, the employees were informed about various firefighting and rescue techniques as well as the use and application of different firefighting equipments. Their demonstration was conducted by the team of fire services team led by Mr. J.B. Patnaik, General Manager, Fire Services. At the outset, a pledge was also administered to all in Oriya, Hindi and English. The program was coordinated by Mr. V.S. Ganar, AGM Fire Services. In an annual performance review, an award function held at Gopabandhu Auditorium of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant, Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi, ED Works, and Mr. P. K. Satpati, ED P. and A. presented Group Performance Award for execution of special jobs by various departments of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant. Departments to receive the Group Performance Award from the Mills Zone are Plate Mill along with Structural and Fabrication Shop, Repair Shop Mechanical, Repair Shop Electrical and Heavy Machinery Electrical as Associate Departments for Replacement of Amateur of Twin Drive Lower Motor, New Plate Mill along with Repair Shop Mechanical as Associate Department for Repairing of Hydraulic Brake Unit of DSTS Main Drive, 
hot strip mill 1 along with air conditioning department for clubbing of package air conditioning systems at coiler and conveyor cabin hot strip mill 2 along with research and control laboratory production planning and control computer and information technology as associate departments for commercialization of hot strip mill 2 product cold rolling mill along with e and a pc hsm1 as associated departments for enhanced production of 0.4 mm gauge thickness GPGC and pipe plants along with research and control laboratory RCM and CMO for revival of pipe coating plant and execution of 27 km from NTPC. 20 women from the resettlement colonies of sale Rorkila steel plant namely Lachachanda, Hati Dasha, Jaidigha, Lying Jhirpani, Bonda Munda and Janta Pahar RS colonies were trained in various nuances of sewing in a program organized at the Institute of Periphery Development. Ms. Chaitali Das, GM in charge, BE and IED presided over the concluding function held on 11th April and handed over the certificates, machines and USHA shine bo sign board to each of the participants who successfully completed the 15 days training program. Other distinguished guests present on the occasion included Ms. Munmun Mitra, GM, CSR, and Mr. Guru Prasad Mohanty, representative of Gram Uttam. The program aimed at not only making the women proficient in swing, but also to be able to train others and start their own enterprises. The basic swing training course included cutting and stitching of masks, ladies' garments, school uniforms for both boys and girls, and fancy handbags. Each of these items were displayed at the concluding function. The trainees were provided with the sewing machines so that they can start training the girls and women of their vicinity immediately and help add to their income. The program organized in collaboration with Gram Uthan and Usha Silai has been so designed and selection made strategically so that each trainer has a good catchment area in terms of customers for steady income. The doctors of Ispar General Hospital of Sale Rorkila Steel Plant conducted a critical orthopedic surgery on a 59 years Mr. Balendra Minch of Blast Furnace Department, who was critically injured in a road accident in a road traffic accident near Vedvyas. After the accident, the patient with acute pain, bleeding and semi-consciousness state was immediately taken to IGH. On examination, it was found that he had multiple fractures in right side of chest and shoulder, elbow and wrist, which was both life and limb threatening. For more than a week, the patient was kept in intensive care unit. Four consecutive surgeries were conducted by Dr. L. K. Biswal, CMO, and Dr. Sanjay K. Tiwari, Deputy CMO and Orthopedic Surgeon, Mr. J. R. Sahu, Senior Consultant, General Surgery, and Dr. Sanjukta Panigrahi, Additional CMO, Anesthetic of Ispar General Hospital. Utmost care and the dedicated effort of the team of doctors, nurses and paramedic staff helped the patient in responding positively to all the different stages of treatment. The satisfied Mr. Minch and his family have expressed their profuse thankfulness to the doctors and paramedics of IGH. That's all for the news today. Namaskar. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos.